Hey stamping friends, welcome to the joy of stamping with Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn and it's Fun Fold Friday. Today I have a really fun card for you that has a theater door opening to it. Go ahead and hold on real quick while I flip and we'll get started. Some reason it does on a flip so real quick you'll see my ceiling sorry you guys one second let's see we get you guys to flip cameras there it goes okay sorry about that delay all right you guys ready for this awesome fun fold so this is what it looks like when it'll the person who receives it opens it up. This is what they'll see. And then there's these little, little tabs right here so they know to pull. And they can see this awesome inside. This is a theater card because it kind of looks like curtain doors of a theater are opening up. And I've used the Whale Done stamp set to make this one. And let me just turn it this way so you can kind of see how it looks from the top view. There's lots of pieces to this one, but it is super fun. And once you figure it out, it's not as scary. This is only going to be my second one making. So I'm super excited to make it again with you guys. All right, let me set that aside and we will get started. So there are lots of pieces to this one. First, so I'm going to show you that we're using the Well Done stamp set and our Well Done, well, our Well Builder Punch. I've already punched out a really cute well using the pacific point uh, ink and using that stamp set and he is so cute and i did him on whisper white and then i already do have i do need to stamp one thing real quick so when i usually make cards i do it in a couple ways i will measure and cut first stamp and assemble so we're going to go a little bit backwards and i'm going to stamp my scene first on our dsp which will be in the inside of our card so this one is our going to be in the very back panel, and this one measures at three and one eighth and four and one eighth, and we're going to stamp our well done. Because there's kind of a door or a window to this card, you want to make sure you stamp it low enough that when the doors open, you can see it. If you stamp anything up here high, they won't be able to see it once they are looking through it. So we're going to go just a little bit above this greenery right here press down there we go and that one's ready for us to glue in later and that's all the stamping for this one that well and the well done all right so there's a couple pieces like i said to this card let me go ahead and show you the front side and we'll assemble that first so what you'll do is i have two pieces that are cut the four and a quarter by five and a half and then one is for the front and one is from the back this is for the front and i've already taken my dsp which is a well of a time dsp which is currently on sale and through tomorrow after tomorrow it will no longer be on sale and we're going to go ahead and glue this together but you can tell there's something missing i ran them together through my die cutting machine my stamp and cut and emboss together and that way they made the perfect frame or window and we just need to glue that part on you can kind of see where it's left an impression the dsp did on this paper here and i can use that now as a guide of where i need to glue it down or if you wanted to glue this down first and then cut it out that would have been fine but you just make sure you put glue only on the outside because we will have to use that inside piece later on will be this part of our on our moving doors all right so you have glue all around that just like so I'll line it up so we can see everything through it perfect so this is the front of our card and i'm using a different design today which i think is really pretty it's kind of like that seaweed look then you will have two strips of the same card base color so our card base color we're using today is pacific point and everything on this card that's cardstock will be this color. 
just to make it look like it's all one stage and not multiple gadgets or spots of it. These strips are three fourths by six and a quarter, and I have it scored at one inch and five and a quarter. So it's an inch off of each side. What we do with these ones, we're gonna put glue right here and right here on both of them, and then we're gonna put them on the very backs of our front. So right here and right here. This will make kind of like a pocket for our doors to be held with. So I'll put some glue on here. And for this one, you just wanna make sure that you have it so that it doesn't get seen through on either side. And you see that's kind of close with my frame, my door open right there that I cut out earlier, but it shouldn't be too bad. So I'll put those in those corners there and get them to dry. There we go. Then we'll liquid glue it on this side as well. So right here and right there. And then place it down. And usually I like to use tear tape for cards that have this kind of moving motion to it. But we'll be using the liquid glue for the whole time, except for a dimensional here and a glue dot there for when we get ready to embellish. Okay. See, we've kind of made this little pocket now, just like that. So that's it for the front. So we're going to set that aside. Our next part of ours is the doors. So this paper is that same piece of measurement that I used for that one is a four and a quarter by five and a half. And these ones are just slightly smaller. These moving doors measure at four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And then I have it scored at two places. I have it scored at one and one sixteenth and I have it scored at two and five eighths. And then if you notice, I have a little slit right here. And the best way to make this slit is that you're going to use your trimmer. I've already made them, but let me show you how you would. You'd put your trimmer here, and this right here is the one and sixteenth score line that we have. We would put it in, and we're gonna measure half an inch over from this score line, which I know is this line right here. And then on here, on our trimmer, there's another ruler. So we're gonna use this to help us, because we don't wanna cut it from the bottom. We need to start about a half an inch from the bottom of this piece here. So I wouldn't start until where it says three and a half on here, and I put it down and I go to the two and a half. So three and a half, we'll do one inch to make a slit. And we will do that on both sides of our doors. The doors can look or be kind of tricky because we don't need them to go a certain way. And let me tell you how you know that's the way it needs to go. So our doors are gonna have our score lines like this facing each other. And you wanna make sure your left door looks like a S and your right door looks like a Z. Can you see those folds there? Just like that. But also, guess what I've done wrong? My slits need to be on the bottom, which I suppose I always flip the paper over when we do it too, but let me do this. There we go. Um, let's see, we still have our S and our Z. We do, okay. So our slits are on the bottom. And now we need to put glue on both of these tabs right here and right here. And we're gonna bring this piece of cardstock back into our view and we're gonna glue it down and place it on here just like that. Let me get that glue on here. The secret of this one is trying to get it so it's lined up in the middle. And the video that I watched told me to do it at the same time. You probably could do it separately and line it up just fine, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna flip it and go. Ready? Put them together. Kind of eyeball it. And put that one over on there. And that one kind of centered there. And I'm gonna press it down so that glue can hold nice. If you get a little bit of glue spots on here, like I just did, just grab a white eraser and that will come right off. That's from the adhesive that was on my fingers. Okay, and there we have our doors. Isn't that awesome? Now we can take our DSP that we stamped on earlier and put it in the center here. A little bit of glue. 
and stick it right in there. I know, isn't this dough so much fun how they can move? Be sure to comment. I just saw two comments in here. Be sure to comment because one of you guys will get today's card in the mail for me. Just super exciting. Okay, so we have our doors like that. The next part is really kind of cool and fun. It's going to be a piece of paper that looks just like this. You're going to cut it. This, this is what I call the center tab. This is one and a quarter by four and a quarter. And all these measurements will be on my blog. So if you're saying, what did she just say? Don't worry. I will share the link later on so you guys will have these measurements. What you want to get the center tab to look like is like this. Let me show you. An I. Doesn't that look like an I to you? The top and the bottom, like the capital I. So our goal for this one is to have this so we can fold these tabs down and stick them to the slits and then open them back up. So the best way to do this one is to get your pencil out just like I did and I measured half an inch on each of my sides and then you'll take your paper snips and you're going to cut it about a quarter of an inch. So not very far in. And you'll do that on all four sides. I'm gonna do it on these first two to show you. There we go. And then we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna turn them like this and cut from that cut line to this one. The sweet lady that I watched do it, she's a genius and she is a master with her paper trimmer and she was able to do it with her paper trimmer. And if you are skilled like that, please feel free to do it on there too. But for me, it worked better with just my paper snips and went a little bit faster. So there, this will turn into this. All right, you guys ready? So we're gonna fold these tabs in. You can do it either way you want, bottom or top, doesn't matter. And then we're gonna snick this through our little slits that we made earlier on our doors. I'll just put that in and then I'll open up that tab. And by me opening up this tab right here, shows it makes it so it locks, so it can't slide through. Let's see if you can see that again, there we go. So we're gonna do that same thing on this side for our center part. I'll put this in. I know this fun fold is kind of out of my normal, right? It's super fun. And I was really intimidated by it when I saw it, but I just knew I had to try it. So I'm so glad you guys can learn this with me today. All right, now what we need to do is embellish these little center part right here. So we're gonna add our whale, but when you do your whale, make sure that when you close the doors, he's not hitting any of the edges. So you close it like that and he'll be okay. So you can kind of look inside and see where he lays and then you can put him in there for good. I use a dimensional. Let me grab one right, oh, here they go. On the back of him and I put it kind of in the center. And then when I put him here, I had him more towards my left side and that way the door would close just right for me because his tail is pretty long here and that makes it so he's about the same distance from each side. All right, next I have these vellum pieces that I've cut out from the smooth sailing dies. That one's more of like a boat and nautical one, but it has this really awesome seaweed that I had to steal from and cut for you guys today. Go ahead and put a glue dot on your vellum and then we're gonna just sneak it right behind our well. Also be mindful of the words. So you might wanna have it a little bit lower I kind of like that. I think I put my glue dot too low. Let me just move, move that glue dot or grab another one real quick. Or you could also even cut your vellum. So I had the vellum in this one going really long on the bottom, but you can't even see that unless you look through. So you can even cut this part smaller. All right, so we'll put that right there about. And we'll do one more on the other side. I also added the Well of a Time sequins to mine, where I just embellished it a little bit more. And these look like this. I used the seashell on the bottom, and then I made two little bubbles right by the Well Done as well. But we won't do that today, just it takes a lot of time to dry. All right, let's make sure we can close our doors without ruining our awesome Well. And if so, then we just need to adjust stuff. Okay, doors are closed, let's see how. All right, not too bad. I might need to pull that one off or maybe I'll put it under. Ooh, 
I'm gonna trim this one off really quick and then we'll be fine. There we go. Okay. So cute, I love it. We're almost done. You guys are doing awesome. Thanks for staying. Cause you guys wanna see the finish, right? How this all comes together. All right, last part. We have this little piece of our DSP that was cut from the rectangle from our front of our card. Remember that part? Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab our paper trimmer again. And we're gonna cut it at two inches. So this rectangle piece that we cut out is about is four inches by two and five eighths. So the middle of this one is two inches. So that makes it for easy math for me. And we'll just cut that right in half. Awesome. And now we just need to glue it on, but we have to put our doors on first. All right. So to attach this here, we're going to get this piece right here and stick it through that little pocket we made. Oh, and you know what? I did forget one thing real quick. So let's do that. I need to punch just a little bit of a cut right here. So I make sure I don't have my little extra band here. And I'm going to go, this is also the four and a half. So I would measure it about two and one eighth and put a little dash there. I'm just going to eyeball it right now. But we'll stick our punch in here and just punch out a little tab. So that way it's easier for them to move those doors. And you only have to put the punch in just a little bit. Again, I'm just eyeballing it, but I would measure it out if you want it to look just right. There we go. Okay, now we can slide in our doors by putting one side right here. Awesome, and then we're gonna put this one on this one. Let me show you from this way. I'm gonna slide this door through this little pocket we made. It's kind of awkward, but we got it. All right, then we have to close the doors, and now we glue on our DSP. Let's see if I can find the way this one was. There we go, we're gonna match it. And for this one, we want to make sure that you have it close as you can to that door center. Flip this over. And I have it stitched from that stitch rectangle. So I want to have my stitch on the outside. And we'll put it just like that to make it fit in there. It's looking pretty awesome. One last one. And then this card will be done. See, it wasn't too bad, right? A lot of pieces, though. This would make one fantastic wow card if you were to make this for a swap or for a friend. You guys ready? Should you open it? Well done. Oh, can we get my door out? Only one curtain opened. There we go. Ta-da! Love it. I'm so excited to send this to someone. So make sure you guys comment, comment away. And you guys can get this card. I love it so much. Super fun. And look at those curtains opened up. Oh, I think I like this one even better than this one. What do you guys think? Both are pretty fantastic, but love it. And the more you play with it, the easier that it'll spring back and forth. Just like that. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And I can't wait to send one of you guys this awesome card. Have a wonderful Halloween weekend. And happy stamping, everyone. Goodbye.